A wretched hag educational. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save our skill point. Because we don't know what's coming up to in mid lane. If it's Amon Ra, we're gonna level Q first because it's very good for harassing. If it's uh if it's Clank, so I'm gonna level my blink first, just because I'm probably not gonna harass him and I might as well get the blink. Because I shouldn't really be trading harass unless I see an opportunity to slowly whittle him down and get a kill. Now, um, they do have parasites, so I gotta be careful about that. Though I do have a blink, so his ganking potential is limited greatly early on. Uh, I there's not a lot of reason to build a null stone this game on Hag except for Parasite, but it does help against Sandwraith as well. So I'm still probably going to build one just because it's my standard TMM build. It's uh, much stronger in, when, in a game that's loose uh, like TMM, whereas in a scrim with Hag you Let's would probably go Grimoire, on. BKB, or something like that. <clears throat> Though they often, well they used to often suicide or solo lane or in a side lane. Uh, because mid is usually usually reserved for dual lanes, but in TMM usually mid is solo. So let's see. <clears throat> so saving the skill point. Now some people ask me why don't you ever level bats up over your E and mostly it's just because your E is much more useful overall especially for early game team fights and whatever you know you can you can do a lot more with it I've I've rarely seen people level up Q but I have seen one person level up Q quite a bit and that, I think that was Haxorin but he was against a melee in a solo lane in uh, some tournament game and while he did limit what he could do in a team fight, uh, he increased his farm dramatically and destroyed the solo laner so that he was pretty much free farming. So for there it was probably worth it for him, definitely, or it looked worth it for him that game. Uh, but generally, I personally level Scream over the bats almost every every time I can. So here I'm against Amon Ra, uh, he can't really do much in this lane, as you can see I've got 4 denies. Um, this lane isn't exactly fair for him at all, he's he's a fairly poor mid laner, he gets beaten by a lot of ranged heroes. Uh, the one strength he does have though as a mid laner is he gets those levels fast, so if he needs to go blow up the jungle, he can do that and catch right up. Um, But yeah, for him, this lane isn't remotely fair, and like, I, I can't box him out too, too effectively, but I might be able to if I level up the bats. Actually, I probably definitely could if I level up bats, but <laughs> I'll trust, I'll trust in the E to get a Q, or to get a kill, I should say. So here at this point I can just sell these, because I really don't feel like I'm going to need them. And I'm going to just keep him as far away from the wave as I can, try and limit his experience and gold that he gets in this lane. Because if I can build a small level advantage I can probably kill him before I hit 6, hopefully. Now my team warded all of Parasite's jungle, so he had to probably spend time going to ours, so he's pretty nerfed. You guys can't see that right here, I'll show you. So you can see his jungle is completely completely lit up. <laughs> but yeah, a big problem with why Ra can't mid effectively is because he has such low, low armor, so any decent player on a ranged hero will usually give him quite a bit of trouble. So here I'm 
just looking at my bottle, thinking that I can kill this guy. I want to hold my boot. I don't want to drop these. So I don't have her rune ward, so I'm just gonna have to start guessing for them, which is fine because they they at least did something useful with the wards. I'm not really complaining. Anything that slows down parasite, I'm pretty happy with, so he doesn't have a fast whatever the hell he wants. Double tap. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is no. I'm going to be rushing my steam boots. I might actually just get a chalice right now, which I think I will do because I think it can set me up for another kill soon. Normally, if I don't think I can get a kill, I'll level up or I'll get my steam boots right away. Come here, man! Come here. There, I just wasted some mana. Let's see. Yeah, so they're running around in our jungle. This way. I need to put a bit of harass into him before I try and kill him. As you can see, he's playing pretty far back though, so it's kind of difficult to get the kill. Though if I hit seven before he hits six, that might give me just enough damage to finish him off, or to give him just enough to run away with super super low health. But before I do do that, I'd like to at least put some bats on him. I do have boots, and he doesn't, so that would make my scream. I could definitely scream in his face once. So I'm gonna use my chalice right away. Try not to get hit by these creeps because they would kind of ruin my next plan that I'm trying to set up here. So yeah, Amon Ra is pretty far back now. He realizes the danger and he's not fallen for it. So right now my next item should be Steam Boots and a TP. Uh, the TP just in case I see anything around the map. And if I see a good opportunity or want to make a good opportunity, Hag is a great hero for that because of her blink. So if they dive, you know, the chances they escape are pretty low. And once it turns nighttime. I can gank pretty effectively. So I didn't use the chalice before I got a kill, but whatever. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Now one thing I like to do here is I personally like to level my bats so that I, my combo does just that much more damage because it gets applied twice with your ultimate and, and your Q. Uh, leveling your blink here is actually fine, uh, it's not a bad thing to do. It can give you somewhat more aggressiveness and some people, some people say it helps them get around the map faster. But generally I think if you're using your mana to get around the map faster at this stage in the game, it you know, it can work out. I'm not going to say it's the worst thing in the world. Um, and I've seen it work really, really effectively so that a hag could dive, like tower dive and be aggressive and still blink away. Um, I just prefer to get the damage first. 
So the advantage of it would be if you're going to level your blink, it gives you a little more. I wouldn't say it gives you more power to be aggressive because of you're you're, you're lacking a bit of extra damage, but it does give you the the option to be aggressive and still escape effectively. Because if I blink in, I'm stuck for 12 seconds here. So, and that's that's a that's a very very long time to be stuck, considering most stuns are you know just two seconds and it feels like forever. So. Anyway, so as I said, the first item I, I personally like to work on on Hag in the TMM game is generally almost always an all stone. Uh, the reason why it's different in a scrim or in a game where the whole game is set up differently so that like everyone everyone kind of has a reserved spot for farming or whatever. Uh, so say you send Hag suicide, then they push the tower, and then she static farms until she sees a good opportunity or until the team makes an opportunity. Um, in that case going Grimoire BKB is uh, better, but in a TMM game I, I just really... I can't I can't say no to a Null Stone. It just has way too many good uses. It really just opens up the map for your hero and then you can be... you can be a lot more aggressive with it I find. <clears throat> with uh, Grimoire is a great aggressive item, but it by itself, I find myself making a couple too many trips back to base. Right here, I've missed a great opportunity to kill top, so I'm kind of, kind of upset at this. Ultimate warrior. I still got one kill there. Too bright here. So here we know the the runes top clearly because this is this is bottom. Two, one missing top. Now. What? <clears throat> now I'm just gonna burn this ultimate right here. Double damage. And probably kill him. Yeah, definitely kill him. So yeah, as you can see, Ra, once he's shut down early, if he doesn't get something going, he is... Despite having two lives, he's just very squishy, because he has no armor, right? So if he doesn't get any farm, he is really not all that useful. Which can be said for most heroes, I guess, but... He is just completely shut down in this case, so... <coughs> There's really not much he can do. Uh, what he can do from here would be, hopefully he's leveled his E, uh, in this situation he should level his E um, so that he could just ashes to ashes the jungle down and free farm that. He would be sharing with a parasite, but parasite could probably move into our jungle and not die. <laughs> Yeah. So here, I didn't, think, I didn't think porting an end that would be fine. That's, I wouldn't really be picking up a kill there. I'd just be putting myself in danger without, without it being wise. Wouldn't really be setting myself up for anything. As you can see, Clanks is one of the super low HP heroes in the game, though he is the highest level shared with Sandwraith. So, despite having vestments, he does have phase boots as well, so he's, he's really not a lot of HP, so I could probably kill him if I land my full combo on him. Illusion. And there we found a friend. Now Ra still has his ultimate down, pretty sure. So while he's easy pickings right now, I don't think I can dive him just yet. 
By the time I do dive him, his ult should be back up, unfortunately. I'm not hanging around. I'm, I'm leaving. They can just dive me. Um. Yeah. There's three there, man. So there's there's other items you can go here on Hag. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not saying the all stone is the best item for her here. I just personally really like it in a TMM game. Uh, yeah. You could do a lot of like, builds here. You could go, you could still go Hellflower. I wouldn't recommend that, but it's not bad. Uh, you could still go Hellflower. You could still go Sheep first. You could. Um... So he looks like he's got his ult. Oh, nope. Yeah, that's it. I'm dead. And they're really diving our bottom. That is four people. So I'm not gonna use my blink to check out anything here in case. Yeah. So when we're against this, we split up. I'm just trying to harass because I do have a regen. God, which Slayer got the attack off? Because I messed up. Regeneration. Uh, somebody got the courier killed. If you guys could buy that. So Sandwraith is still chilling down here. Got a rock coming behind. Never mind, you back. Seven six. But yeah, I did, like you could even go puzzle box and have it be pretty, yeah. really, really good on Hag. Puzzle box is an excellent item on Hag. It's actually rarely picked up, but it's it's very, very good. So it's also another kind of somewhat uncommon item on Bubbles, despite being really good on him. Especially since with it, it synergizes with his ultimate really well. Um, yeah, I don't really want to TP in there without my Null Stone. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion Tower. Alright, so... Uh, I'm just gonna watch where he goes. Sure thing. He's probably taking this camp and then going here, hopefully. But I'm probably just gonna go knock down Ra's ultimate. Let's see what I can do. So there's Sandwraith ulted, Nullstone protected me. It's not a big deal from for him right now. But it, later on that might help me a great deal. So here I'm saving my ultimate because I I definitely want to blow him up. Oh my god. So here we see Clanks trying to get away. Our poor friend doesn't have mana, but we do have a blink, so. Oh, he died. Now we're not gonna go chase Parasite because he can just jump into a catapult. I might chase him, but he's probably nope. Did not go into the catapult. All right, so he is going up there. Hopefully, I can kill him when he's in his creep. My children call. Parasite has a shroud. So well, uh, this is like, this is like a good game actually to get a puzzle box in. I could burn Behe's mana right away and whatnot. Uh, 
Yeah, thank you. But that said, like Parasite does have a shroud, which is an uncommon pickup. It's usually somewhat, sometimes a luxury item on him, but uh. I still, I'm still not gonna get a puzzle box for this particular game. So while it's good against Parasite's Shroud, it's not good against Parasite himself. He'll just take over one of the useful creeps and make it a whole lot more useful. And I'll be giving, providing him with an extra escape. So my next item here, I'm gonna make a sheep. He's here, man. He's here. Is under attack. <sighs> okay. So yeah, my next item is sheep. Um, what this is gonna allow me to do is pretty much kill anyone I find if I find anyone solo. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I can do that already almost fairly, fairly consistently, but. It's gonna make sure that it's. It also gives me an extra defensive mechanism slash offensive, you know. In case I need to get away, I can sheep them and run. And once I have, uh, once I have sheep, I'm never gonna have a mana problem in my life again. No, I'm not exactly starving or hurting for mana right now. So, Behe, I can blink in there and kill him. There's a Sand Wraith over here, I do know that. But there are two people top. Now, because he keeps showing himself, I kind of get curious of, is he actually baiting this? The answer is, the answer is no, thankfully. I didn't think he was. It looked like he was baiting because someone ran up this way, but I think that was Sand Wraith, so... Double tap. Sandwraith wouldn't have the means to kill me right now, so it was a pretty safe dive. And there we have lost another carrier. So here I'm going to see if I can sneak around and bite him in the face, because he was running up this way. Guess not. I was trying to be sneaky and see if he would do anything with the Ancients. The Legion have destroyed the Hellborn Tower. But he just came and evacuated. So right now, none of them have really amazing items for farming, I think. Let me see. right there, by the way. Who took the counter ward? So, hot keying our third carrier of the game. Now here, I'm gonna pretend to be pushing. They know it's illusions, whatever. But maybe, 
Jeez, maybe. So I'm gonna try and finish off B here. Auto attack flanks. And everything worked out really well there. Never mind. It's not stackable. Yes. Unless he kills that little dragon outside the camp and stacks it. Alright, so I'm going for the bottom rune. So is he. Alright, so from here here on my next items are gonna be carry items. Do you want a small rebottle? No, it's no, it's cool, it's cool, I got this. So I usually don't like traveling back to swap bottles just because it's a waste of time. I don't like missing a single creep for it or anything like that. It's not really a waste of time because it's a double damage, but you, you know what I mean. We both have to waste our time and then it slows down. Slows down the money making process, and I don't like that. Right here, there, pushing again. I don't have my ultimate, and I don't think my no, my team's getting into, into position. They're yeah, coming this way. I do have a sheep stick. I'm on my way. Fuck. So I'm gonna try and sheep flanks before he gets his BKB up. Or. Changing it to be he. I'm trying not to block my friend here. Good job. I don't know where Parasite was, I didn't see him. Maybe he's just shrouded away. So there's yeah, a lot of there's we'll really a lot of item things. builds you can go on Hag that really aren't bad. Broke, she, to be honest, she's she's really just a really great hero. Um, yeah, the broken guy. He didn't have an item. For fun builds, I usually put this under the category of fun. From here on. Uh, Going like something like a grimoire, a refresher, staff of the master. That's actually really fun, but I generally don't do something that like that or consider it uh, a serious build. More because BKBs start to really negate it. Um, you do have two sheep, so you know you have you have everything you need still. Like, and all your skills refreshed are amazing. So it's it's by by no means a terrible thing to do. Um, So yeah, I muted someone else now. Oh, I am muted. So yeah. And Kelly lies, I don't have any polka dot boxes. No, polka dots are hideous. Yeah, I know you lie. Anyway, so I forgot my thought. Anyway, I would... Like it, even even that, it's it's pretty strong, right? That's a lot of AOE magic damage, and it's a huge amount of burst. Um, in a s more serious game, I almost always never get a BKB on Hag, but in a more serious game, you 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 need it for certain team fights because the second you blink in, usually, okay, there's there's one thing on Hag that oftentimes before a, re a good team fight, if they're coming into what you're set up. You don't want to blink in to initiate. Um, you want to be able to get your alt off and then blink to the the best position for that team fight, or whether it's running or in to, in further to it. Uh, so you sometimes like something. Uh, what, what one of the best hag players I ever played against? Went in 
Or yeah, I'd say the best hag player I played against a long time ago was Chu. Um, there, there's certainly other amazing hag players today. Um, but one of the things he would do before a team fight, not always, but you know, when it was prime, uh, he would sometimes just set himself up really nicely in the trees somewhere or something, and we wouldn't even know, we wouldn't even have a clue he's there, right? And he would get off like the biggest alt on the team that was totally unsus not suspecting it or whatever. And then he'd still be able to blink away because he knew that, you know, stuff was coming and he'd be able to get away. So, Hag can blink in an alt, it's what she normally does in a fight. But I'm just saying, if you see the opportunity to look around, look around the map a little, you know, set yourself up. Then you definitely should try it. Is he alone? Okay, so I might not be able to get this kill, but I totally might. No, Regeneration. Sorry, I kind of just assumed more him. people would come, because, you know, he charged me. So here, uh, I shouldn't, whoa, 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 I need that carrier boy badly, one second. So here, I'm going to go for a bit of a more carry-ish build, um, which is also slightly negated by BKB. I'm going to get some rift shards here. You could argue that this is not the best thing to do and that I should be going Harkons or something first, but I'm just going to go Rift Shards because if I do go Harkons first and I want to smack Clanks in the face and he has his BKB popped, well then, tough luck for me, right? Because say I want a Sheep Behemoth again or something in the fight. Now if I see him dishing out a ton of damage without his BKB, I may want to Sheep him, but B, he's been walking into these fights because the poor guy didn't have a PK yet. So, Off I go. I So now my next item is going to be a Harkon, so I didn't need to sell my Chalice, I could have just went back to base or whatever and... I'm going to pop my haste just in case something funny happens. So yeah. Do you ever consider Wingbow and Hag? Eh. I wouldn't rule it out just because Wingbow is a pretty awesome item. So I very stupidly used my sheep on an already sheeped target. Um, whoops. It didn't seem to matter at least. So yes. Yeah, so right now my next item is Harkons, uh, and that leaves me open to still get a BKB later if I want it. I might choose something else. Personally, I usually choose something like more damage on Hag, but that's just my own personal choice for most games. Um, if I were playing against a very coordinated, good team, I would definitely need a BKB though. Assuming they all had really good farm and the game was really close, right? If you know, if the game's not really close, it doesn't even matter who they are, it's, it's just the way it is, right? You can start building codexes at that point. Oh, 
Oh. Little fucker. I thought you guys killed Paris, huh? So I hear I'm just blinking in the sheep and whatnot. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna be looking for that annihilation now. I'll TP you home for if you want. But. Uh, not the best at buying a gem here, and I don't think I can attack him. So yeah. So we're not we're not getting any annihilation with our immortal, unfortunately. But yeah. so generally, as I said, I like to do a little more carry build on Hag. But like the pure initiation build with refresher and whatnot, it is it's pretty excellent. Like it is, I I really can't say it's bad at all because you do get two sheep sticks with it, um, or whatever other item you want. You went maybe you went health flower, maybe you went codex refresher. Like Hag is such a great versatile hero that you could get a lot on her. And uh, deciding what to get on her in that instance is. It's really a game per game basis on it, and it depends on their items. Um, say none of them are getting BKB, maybe you just want that mass AoE magic damage. You know, you could do that. Most people will get a BKB eventually against Hag or something like it. Uh, things that take off are bats like geometers or BKB, something that, because I don't know if you've ever played a melee carry against Hag and not gone BKB, you'll. You'll hate life. You'll hate life a lot because you're like, well, these fucking bats keep slowing me. <laughs> Testy, do you think Hag is a blessed orb hero? Grimoire, Frostwolf, Skull, Cauldra, Nullstone, Geometers? I wouldn't get Geometers with those those items, but yeah, she's she's pretty blessed orb. Testy, would you recommend Frostfield played on Hag in any situation? I actually would, yeah. Frostfield played is really good on Hag. There's times where I, I think, oh, I should get more damage, I should get something else on her. But then I get a Frostfield plate and I realize just how much more I can do in a team fight. And it's a, it's, it's still really, really good. It's an excellent item for her. It does add a small bit of damage for her, but the amount of armor and the big slow, the big AoE slow, that she can position anywhere, because she's a blink hero, right? So it, it's very good on her. What's your opinion of Icon on of the Goddess on Hag? I think Icon is actually quite terrible on Hag. I I wouldn't get it. Um, I would prefer you get a Grimoire or something to boost her damage. I would not get an Icon on Hag. Uh, she has so much um, great AOE damage, and even her auto attacks they're not they're not devastating, but she does have decent agility gain. You know, she's got two agility gain, so she's she's not bad. Like a, as a semi carry, right? 